The divide between the Supreme Court Collegium is out in the open. For the first time, the Collegium resolution has named two judges for failing to agree with the proposals tabled by the Chief Justice of India, Yu Yu Lovett, on appointing judges to higher courts. Ashmi joins us now to explain what this means. Ashmi, take us through the Collegium resolution that has caused this stir. Well, a couple of aspects to bear in mind. Number one, the Supreme Court Collegium consists of the top five judges, the top five senior most judges of the Supreme Court, including the Chief Justice of India. And the second aspect to keep in mind is that normally the only aspect of the Collegium that is disclosed is the final resolution which discloses the judges that have finally been appointed uh, to the top court, and that's all. Uh, what is interesting and what is unprecedented perhaps, and this is for the first time that we're seeing, that the Collegium not only discloses the decision-making process within the Collegium, but importantly also pins the blame on specific judges of the Collegium which have in fact disagreed with the decisions proposed by the Chief Justice himself. Now here's what transpired. On September 26th, uh, there was a meeting called of the Collegium which in fact uh, to consider 11 names uh, for elevation to the top court. There are vacancies in the top court that need to be filled. Uh, in, uh, in that meeting, there was consensus built only on one specific name. There were 10 names that continue to remain. And uh, the 10 names were due to be considered on the second meeting scheduled on September 3rd. And this is where uh, the controversy lies. On that particular day, uh, Justice Chandrachul, who was busy with judicial commitments, failed to appear in this collegium meeting. And that is where uh, there was a proposal made by the Chief Justice. And that proposal was shared with the members of the collegium via a letter due to the unavailability of Justice Chandrachul. Now, what's interesting is that the collegium resolution very clearly identifies that Justice Chandrachul and Justice Nazir, in writing, disagreed with this process. This method of circulating a letter for deciding upon a name was in fact objected to. In fact, uh, October 2nd is when the Chief Justice wrote to these specific judges to ask if they had any particular concerns regarding the candidates in question and not regarding the process, which did not elicit any response. Now, to that, uh, to that end, this collegium resolution ends by saying uh, that there was no headway made on account of those 10 names and that the meeting was discharged without any formal decision. So cracks emerging within the collegium. The reason that's significant is that the Chief Justice of India is in receipt of a letter from the Law Ministry asking him to nominate his successor, which normally, as convention dictates, should be the second senior most judge, which in this case happens to be Justice Chandrachul, the very man disagreeing with the Chief Justice of India.